Freezing levels soar as a Pineapple Express atmospheric river makes its way in to BC's south coast. Now with those temperatures rising, we're going to see a lot of mixing precipitation, but also heavy rainfall across western Vancouver Island, headed into Metro Van, where we could see upwards to 10 to 15 millimeters per hour. So we have a risk, a severe risk of flooding as well as an avalanche risk due to that higher uh, uh, freezing level and mixing precipitation. Now here's how much rain we could be seeing, well over 100 millimeters of rain in the Tofino area. The mountains to your east expect higher amounts of accumulating rainfall, but places like Victoria, Sydney, having the mountains to your west, you're a little bit cushioned over there. Metro Van, North Van getting upwards to 100 millimeters as well. There's a closer look, 50 to 75 in southern Vancouver to Wasson, over to Abbotsford, maybe 75 millimeters, and diminishing as we head further eastward. Here's a look at how much rain you could see in Tofino by this week, upwards to 130 millimeters of rain, which I know you're no stranger to out there. But keep in mind, the freezing levels are going to fluctuate, bringing a lot of instability. Now, the freezing level for Monday is just under 3,000 meters, meaning we have that risk of alpine rainfall and uh, a heavy melt. But keep in mind, it's going to dip right back down later this week, bringing a risk at a ton of freezing rain. Now, this is this could change where exactly you see the freezing rain, but we have a chance at extended period, upwards to 10 hours of freezing rain across the southern Kootenays from Nelson, headed all the way down to Creston.